What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Torrance and in today's video we're going soft and neutral for the holidays. This video will be going up the day before Thanksgiving and because I won't be able to spend as much time with my family over the holidays as I want to, I've been practicing more natural looks going on because when I get on that Zoom call, honey, you know I got to be fly. I want everybody to be looking like, oh honey, I wish we was in town. You could have did my makeup and we could have blah, blah, blah. But just because I can't see you in person, don't mean I won't be glam over that phone. And because the holidays are very important to me, I wanted to do my makeup using items that I received as a gift. And the focus of today's tutorial will be an eyeshadow palette that I was gifted by my friend Sabrina. Hey Sabrina, I want to say thank you and girl, I told you I was going to do this tutorial so I want you to make sure you watch this one. And today I'm going to be using the Detroit palette by FaceFX. If you didn't already know, I was born and raised in the city of Detroit, Michigan. And this is a palette that as soon as I seen it, I was like, oh my God, we got our own palette. Miss Phoebe Scott here from Face of X has come out with her own Detroit palette and it is absolutely stunning. Although I would categorize this palette as a warm neutral palette, we have plenty of pop of colors. We have oranges, yellows, blues, and greens. And you know greens are my favorite, so to have a matte yellow and a matte blue, Top notch, honey, you give me the option to create my own green. And then we got a matte black here. What else do I need? What else do I need but a few brushes and to get started? So I'm gonna make sure I leave the FaceFX information in my description bar below. Please make sure you check them out because they make amazing products. And make sure you're also subscribed to the channel because I do have a giveaway going on until December 14th. So you can make sure you can check out the details on that right here. But with no further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this tutorial. All right, I'm getting ready to head to work, you guys. So I wanted to go ahead and keep things simple today. I know all last week I did a bunch of colorful looks with Juvia's Place. But because we do get some new employees in today, I want to make sure my makeup is nice, soft, and neutral. But because the holiday is also coming up very soon, I'm recording this for Wednesday's video the day before Thanksgiving. And so I just want to make sure... Before I give them the full blown glam, they go ahead and get this soft look, or at least soft in my opinion. <laughs> but today I wanted to showcase a smaller indie brand. And the reason I wanted to show off this palette is because one, it was a gift. And two, it is because it is a palette named after my home city of Detroit, Michigan. This palette here is by The Face FX. It's a brand by Phoebe Scott. She's a makeup artist here in Detroit, Michigan. And this is called the Detroit Palette. Most times I don't even keep the sleeves for palettes. They usually go straight in the trash once I get them. But I've kept this one over the past few months simply because, once again, this was a gift. So I want to keep every piece of it. And although I haven't had the chance to meet Phoebe Scott, my friend who did gift this to me did get it autographed by her. So that is another reason why I'm never going to let this go. And I just wanted to go ahead and do a neutral look today showing off this palette for you all. I want to cover the mirror and give you all a view of the palette here. As you can see, this really does speak to me. I am someone who truly loves my green shades. And whenever it comes to neutrals, two things I absolutely love. One is a matte black and two is a matte yellow. So the fact that they gave us a matte yellow and a matte blue so that I can create my own custom greens. Oh yeah, Phoebe got me right there. And then not only do we have a light green, we have a dark green. So I'm in love here, but before we go any further, I want to go ahead, I'm trying not to drop this thing, <laughs> but before we go any further, I want to see if I can give you a closer view of this palette here. And the best part about these shades are they are all names that if you are from Detroit or if you've lived in Detroit for quite some time, you recognize many of these. Phrases like Belle Isle, Fago Orange, West Side and East Side, and you see she put them on separate ends. <laughs> as well as Motown, Big Three, Verners, On The Lodge with it. Like, come on, honey. These are all classic words and phrases and places from Detroit. And I cannot believe that I did not even know that this palette had came out when it did. But thank God I have friends in the world who keep me on track. So I am going to be doing this today. But I previously said I'm going to give you a close-up. Let me go ahead and do that now. Look at the colors here, honey. They are beautiful. And honey, I know we said we're going to keep things neutral, but that does not mean we have to keep things boring. So just to give myself a tiny bit of color, I'm going to go in with this dark orange shade here at Mexican Town. 
Per usual, all tools and products will be linked in the description bar below. But we're gonna just start off with a large blending brush. And we're gonna just start blending that out as a transition. And we want to take this up as high as possible, honey, because I am someone who likes to have a very blown out look. And with hooded eyes, I always have to go up really high to make sure I can still see my crease shades when I'm through. Mm hmm and this is blending out beautifully. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure this is nice and blended out because I am someone who's not the biggest fan of oranges, but I do want a little warmth to this look. And I want you to see the different shades. So we're gonna go in one more layer just to get a little more opacity and that layer will do it for me like i said i don't want this to be a completely orange look but i do want the warmth from that color And I don't know why I'm sitting back so quiet today. Probably because I'm up so early. That's probably why. Because normally I would have a lot to say. But. Bam. She's done. Alright. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is finish this other side and I'll be back. Now I want to go in and deepen up my crease, so I'm going to take a smaller blending brush and this shade here, east side, and use that in the crease. Normally I would go in with a brush that's completely loaded, but because I want to go in smoothly and slowly, I'm going to take and knock off most of this product and we can build it up. Because I'm trying my hardest not to go in with a black, because I absolutely love black shadows. Oh yeah, and the pigmentation on this, I'm glad I did go in slower because I can always build this up on the outer V. And I am telling you all, not only has this weekend been amazing because I got a lot of things done, but you all have been showing out on these videos. I cannot tell you just how much fun I've been having just trying to come up with different things. I'm knocking off the excess, but coming up with different things to show you all on the channel. And I'm going to do a video showing off my storage tips. So I'm going to have that coming soon. I'm also going to do one with my Bare Minerals routine because that was the first brand I used in makeup. So it's just so many different ideas I have, but it's only so many days of the week that you can put out information. And I'm just truly happy that you all have been enjoying the channel. Although my channel is extremely small, my interaction is extremely high. So that's what matters to me. I would rather have a few hundred subscribers that I actually know, talk to, can keep up with than to have a couple million and only have a few of those people hit me up. Because trust me, we all see those channels where it be 10, 20 million dang on subscribers and only two, 3,000 views. And you looking like, what's really going on, sis? But as you can see here, that brown has taken and brought this back down to a neutral look. It's not as vibrant and as loud as it is on this side. Because once again, browns don't do it for me. No, oranges don't do it for me. I love browns. But I'm about to jump ahead, finish this side, and we'll be back with this conversation. And girl, you know I tried it. I tried not to go into this black, but I'm looking at my crease like, honey, I want just a teeny, teeny bit more drama before I go to work. So we're going to take an even smaller blending brush and use this shade Black Bottom. We're going to use the tiniest bit just to deepen up our crease and outer V. Ooh, and this black is pigmented, honey. Let me go ahead and knock all of that off. Ooh, we. Sis, I just wanted a little bit. And we're going to take that and just barely, let me make sure I knock that off. Just barely go into the crease like this. See, yeah, like, look at that. I just barely want to put that color in there. And before I blend that out, I'm going to do that on both sides. Just knock that off. Tap that right into the crease. I need a little bit more on this side. Eh? 
And because this brush puts that color so low into the crease, I'm gonna go back in with the one I used, my dark brown, and use that to blend and buff that shade up. We're gonna diffuse those edges. Take and bring that up as high as possible. I want this to come off as a dark brown and not a black. All right, and now that this is almost through, honey, we don't want to completely erase that line. We just want to soften her up before we cut our crease. And go ahead up this other side. All right, and now we want to go in and cut our crease. I'm using some glitter primer, my absolute favorite lid primer here. Honey, if I'm gonna pay for shimmer shadows, I want every particle of that sparkle to land on the eye and not on the face. So we're gonna go in, just gonna coat our lids. I'm using my Morphe M421 brush just because she is extremely tiny. And we're just gonna go ahead and cut our crease rather high. I wanna go up high enough to cover most of that dark brown and black that we put in there, but we want the tiniest bit to peek out so that way our cut crease looks a little stronger. And remember, honey, I'm never worried about getting this perfect. They just got to be sisters. They do not have to be twins. Just trust me, if your blending is on point and your placement of color is on point, ain't nobody going to be worried about the fact they ain't identical. We're going to go back in with that brown shade east side. Going to fill up just one side of the brush here and we're going to press that into the outer V. I want to make sure that this is laid down first before we go in with those shimmer shades because it'll be easier to blend now than later. And because we have this glitter primer here, I always like to do two layers to make sure a spot is not skipped. Then we're going to go back in and deepen that up with a little bit of black. First, I want to do this side. And we got to remember that black was extremely pigmented. So I want to take and dip the teeniest tip of my brush into it like this. And then knock off that excess, honey, because this black ain't coming to play. And we're going to use that to just deepen up the outermost bits of this outer V. We want it to blend up into that brown, but we want this black to be on the outer tip. Like that. And up close, this doesn't even come off as a black. It just comes off as a dark brown. And that's the whole key to things. We want the ability to go deep without being too dramatic for this daytime look or at least my version of a daytime look. For shimmer shades, there are only three in here and with a 15 pan palette, honey, I am not upset with that ratio. We have this bright yellow gold here called What Up Though? What up, what up though, what up, what up though, honey? Classic song here. We have this nice neutral medium bronzy shade called Spirit. This is the one I'm gonna be using all over my lid today. And then we also have this silver shade called Hustle. Because, baby, you got to have some hustle in you to make it in Detroit. There's just no doubt about it. But what I think I'm going to do for my shimmer shades, I'm going to go in, like I said, with spirit all over the lid. I think I'm going to take what up, though, and pop that in the center as a highlight. And we'll later on use hustle as a brow bone and inner corner highlight. Okay, I'm going to take my brush and load up the shade Spirit because it is absolutely stunning. And we're going to start this in the inner corner and blend that all the way out and over into my outer V. And this shade is absolutely beautiful. And we gotta remember that we have that brown in front of that black because I've just almost covered it up, baby. So let me stop right there. And I'm loving the fact we got full pigmentation in just one layer. I didn't even have to dip my brush again. Okay, come through with it, Phoebe Scott. Look at that, honey. We're gonna go ahead and do the other side. Most times I have to go in two layers with my shimmer shades just to make sure I got it all, but not with the cover FX. Yes, ma'am, that was so fast and easy. I almost got scared there. And just to be extra, instead of using another brush, I'm gonna use my silicone applicator with what up, though? 
Just want to see what she pick up like with it. Okay, she picks up, no problem. And what I'm going to do is just take that and put that right here in the center of the eye. I don't want this color to take over, but I do want that brightness to be right there. You can use your finger or a brush. It's just, I'm not the biggest fan of using my fingers because I paid for brushes. So we try to use those whenever possible. And because it's a little stronger on the other side, I'm gonna take and add a little bit more here. Okay, that's nice and soft, but then we're gonna take our original brush and soften up the edges just because that yellow is rather strong. Bam. Just blend those colors right together. Bam, there we go. And although we use this very small brush to use on the black, I'm gonna go ahead, clean that off on the back of my hand and go back in with that dark brown shade east side and we're gonna diffuse the edges of our cut crease. Gonna use this just to bring that down a little bit, give us a little more depth. I like a sultry, smoky eye. I don't know why I called this a smoky eye. You know this is early in the morning, but you can see how this is a little more diffused and not quite as sharp as this one here. Just simply because I do have some orange shades there, I want to make things as soft and neutral as possible. And by diffusing that line, things don't come off as dramatic. Now that I'm satisfied with what we have on the face so far, I'm gonna cut away, finish the face, and I'll be back to show you how we'll finish off the lower lash line. Do not get on my head, honey. I told y'all we was gonna be neutral and we was gonna try to stay back and not go dramatic, but honey, I had troubles because I was trying my hardest to avoid black at all costs, but it just didn't happen. Well, no, it did happen, but every time I thought about it, like, okay, since we can't do black, you can go ahead and add a little extra to this. So for mascara, I'm still using up my Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. Have that right here on the top and bottom lashes. For the waterline, once again, we tried to avoid black, so I went in with my Dark Brown Eyeliner and Demolition by Urban Decay. You all know I love my 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencils. For lips, I decided to switch things up and I figured if I can't wear the color black, we can at least wear black owned because not only is Phoebe Scott black owned, and so is the Fenty Beauty. We went ahead and decided we're gonna sprinkle in a little lip bar because not only is that black owned by a woman, it's also a woman from Detroit. So we went ahead and put that on. We have our Straight Living Lip Liner here by the lip bar. I'm wearing just a dark brown shade here. And for highlighter, I decided I wanted to go a little extra because I didn't want to wear just one highlighter. So here I have my Minute Finish Face Palettes. I have two, I have one in Boss Moves here, and I'm wearing this highlighter here in Now Hiring. And I layered that Now Hiring highlighter with this shade here, Ben Ready. This is from the Stay Ready Minute Face Palette. This one here is for the skin tone that's a little bit lighter than mine, but I like to mix things together. So I have this one mixed with the other one. And I skipped out on the blush and bronzers in these just because once again, I was doing the most, being extra and dramatic. And so I went in with my Just Got Paid Bronzer and Blush Duo. This is from the Fresh Glow Duo set here. Absolutely love this thing. And most of the time when I use it, I only go in with this blush here called Shopping Spree. I've used this many a times. But today, because it's a little chilly outside and I had never tried the bronzer on this, it's been years since I've worn bronzer because, honey, I used to wear it out. I used to wear it as bronzer and as contour. Baby, don't do that. But I have this bronzer here in the shade Direct Deposit. Got me a nice glow going on, honey. I'm feeling like I just came back from out of town, even though I ain't been nowhere. And because, once again, we're trying to keep things simple and laid back because we are headed to work, I'm going to go in with that dark brown shade east side, and I'm going to put that on a push liner brush. And we're just going to use that and push it all the way to the lash line, honey. We want this to be nice and deep and smoky, honey. Um, I want to see. I want to blend this out with that orange just to give it a little color, but screw that. We're going to keep our pencil brush and we're going to use that same shade east side. I just personally, I feel as if I got enough orange going on, honey. And I'm going to go ahead and just buff this out with a pencil brush. I probably didn't even need that push liner brush since I'm using this. And we're going to connect this up to this top area here. That 
did bring this up a little too high when I was cleaning up my eyeshadow. And so we're going to bring that edge right back. But yeah, if y'all following this, you don't need that push liner brush. You could just go straight in with that pencil. If I would have done a black shade underneath there first, it would have been necessary. But uh -uh, don't waste your time. And for the last step with the eyes, we're going to use this shade here, Hustle, on the inner corner and our brow bones. Okay, and I want to go in really, really light. Like, really light, just because silver is not my skin tone here. And we're going to first do our brow bone just to make sure we have the tiniest amount of product there. Yes, trust me, she is coming off really pigmented. But she's giving off just enough light so that you can see that area there. And we don't want this to come off ashy, so we're going to go in very, very softly. But for that inner corner, honey, I'm stacking her up. I'm going to take this and put it right there. Bam! No corner, wait, no highlighter there. Beam it right there, honey. Go ahead and get it. Dip my brush one more time to make sure she coated. it. Mm-hmm. Okay, we feeling cute. We feeling cute. Last step for the face. We want to go in with our lip gloss. Today, I'm trying out the Beauty Bakery gloss here. I purchased this a while ago and never had the chance to try it because I've been trying to save up and get a bunch of items from Beauty Bakery so I can do a full face tutorial. But today, because I'm just wearing so many products that's created by black women, I wanted to go ahead and top it off. And we're gonna go ahead and try this brand out for the first time. Just off first impressions, I have to tell you, I did open this before and the tube for this is absolutely beautiful. I'm talking about that swirl design on the inside, how long and slim this tube is. I am feeling it. And I went in with a really dark liner just because I knew how pale this gloss was going to be and I wanted things to come off as rather neutral in the end. And I'm sort of afraid to go in straight with this. So we're going to look at the wand. Oh, I'm loving that we got the teardrop shape, honey. It ain't just a regular doe foot. But because I am afraid of my wand changing colors, we're going to try to block this near the center of the lips and spread it out from there. So I don't. I'm going to get this dirty. And I can see that it has small gold reflex in there. Skin is it looks like I won't be able to get this all the way across without changing the color of the wine. So we're just going to dab this on the back of my hand and transfer it over with a finger or a brush. Next time I wear this, I'm going to make sure I'm not wearing a liner. I'm going to use my nail to scrape that off the back of the hand. There we go. Yes, honey. Those small gold reflex that's in there give this color an extra layer of dimension that I was not expecting. It's comfortable on the lips. It smells amazing. We're going to go ahead and just leave this like this to set for a few minutes. All right, now you know it's time to finish things off. Fix Plus to give us a glowy do. All nighter so things last all day. Cheap fan, expensive breeze, good times. Going to give this a few more seconds to dry and I'll be back to give you all my final thoughts. And this is the final look. Gonna go ahead, give you all a full face view of things before I give you all my final thoughts. And I'm here to tell you, honey, you can't beat it. Soft and natural always gets things going. For me, natural means neutral. I understand neutral can go dramatic. But these are the type of things that I like to do on the days where I truly want to feel glam. I truly want to do a full face of makeup, but I don't want things to be over the top and shocking. For me, the most dramatic part of this look is the brown lips. But, honey, the way this gloss is slipping and sliding, it got me feeling amazing. Like, I usually don't go for browns this dark. 
but with it being glossy it makes me feel a little more comfortable because if this was mad honey I think I would be looking at it like but I'm here to tell you all this palette here is a winner I understand many people don't see Detroit as one of those large cities that everyone wants to travel to we may not be considered New York or Miami but I promise you the talent, the skill, the inspiration that comes from Detroit is bar none, honey, and I'm willing to stick with that. And the fact that we have people who are starting their own businesses here, people like Phoebe Scott and creating beautiful products like this, honey, I had to do a tutorial. Not only the fact was that a gift made it more special to me, but the fact that you named something after my home city, honey, you got nothing but love coming from me, and I promise you, this will not be the last time you will see this brand on my channel. I wanted to go ahead and test this one out just to make sure I like it, but I've already been on the website. I see they got some brushes I want. They got some lip products I want. So yes, make sure you all give Phoebe Scott a shout out. I will be leaving her Instagram page here for the FaceFX in my description bar below. If you have this palette, please leave me a comment down below letting me know how you like it because I am absolutely in love. You all already know how I feel about lip bar. Once again, I only need one face palette, but I have two simply because I love the formula of these. If nothing else, this Fresh Glow Bronzer and Blush Duo, you got to get this bad, baby. I remember I wanted this thing for months and could not get a hold of it because my shade, which has just got paid, stays sold out. Every time I went on the website, they had all four shades that I did not want. But the one I needed in my collection, I could not find. So once I got it, you couldn't convince me to get rid of it. I had to have it. The lip bar liners, you know I have these in every shade. I absolutely love them. The only, only thing I wish they could do is come out with one shade in between these two. Let me see. Like, I'm wearing the straight living one, which is the dark brown. And they have one a little lighter than that called straight up. But he has a slight bit more red hue to him. I really wish I could just melt these two and create one color in between that's darker than this one but lighter than this one. Baby, if lip bar could ever do me a favor, please do that. Come out with one shade in between these two. And as far as this gloss, I absolutely love it. Like I said, for me, the only issue I ran into was the fact that I went in with a much darker liner and I did not want to get this wand dirty. So next time I try this out, it will just be over plain lips. I won't put a liner on just so I can get a full impression on exactly how it slides across the lips, how long it lasts and things like that. But I'm telling you, just the way it feels, it is absolutely amazing. It hasn't broken up the liner underneath it. And as you can see, it still has that ombre effect going on that I did with the liner. So I am absolutely loving this. I don't think I've been disappointed by anything I use today. But then again, when women get in makeup, you know they do their thing. So I ain't even upset with you. But I hope you all truly did enjoy this look. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. If you already are, I would like to say thank you. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Also, if you can do nothing else in this video, please make sure you check out the FaceFX on Instagram. I will leave their information down below. They make amazing products. And like I said, I will be showing them again in the future because this here is soft, it's pretty. It's my version of Neutral and Natural, but I understand how some of you may see this as a glam look. But I'm going to get ready to head to work and I ain't going to lie, I'm going to be driving real slow because I am not trying to put that face mask on and tear this up no time soon. Usually my makeup lasts all day, but a gloss plus a face mask is like, ugh, honey, I'm not trying to feel it. But with nothing else to say, I hope you all remember to practice, continue to stay blessed, and until next time, goodbye YouTube.